understand is you'll see why the devil don't want you to say, I am money. Because what you are doing, every time you say, I am money, you are reconciling money back to God. Oh, God. Lord, if you open their eyes, they'll see what I'm talking about. See, you've got to, rec see, to reconcile. Now, now, let me talk about reconciliation for a moment because this is where you're going to understand there's no such thing as really original sin. When you are reconciling something back, it means that it had been married before, but there was somewhat a divorce. See, we can't be reconciled if we were never married. So the fact that we become redeemed meant I was already deemed. Something brought a break. It was that memory loss. When my memory came back, he re, re gives it away. He did it over again, deemed me, reconciled. Why you need to be reconciled, Jordan? Because I was originally righteous. Originally divinity, because I was made in his image in the image of God. That's how he created me. I came to earth with a memory loss. I came to earth forgetting. That's why when I take communion, do this in remembrance, my memory. Do this in remembrance. Touch your name and say, if you only remember. Oh, yeah. Amen. We might as well listen to this here. We still have an echo in the um, sound system downstairs in the TV room or wherever they're playing it through. <laughs> Who's in the TV room? Or where is this coming from? Where is this ignorance coming from? <laughs> Who does this red light fall on? <laughs> Amen. Now, what was the last point I was saying? <laughs> Remembering. Remembering. <laughs> Maybe that was my 10 minute cue. It would give me. So, when we begin to understand the image of God, and that man was created, and then God blessed them. Now, now you see right there, it's already plural. Eve is, has not even come forth yet. And technically, neither did Adam. Because he does not form them until Genesis 2. As a matter of fact, he does not form them until after he rests. Could it be that you don't have your Sabbath because you never create it? Your Sabbath only comes when the creation is complete. And then when you have your Sabbath, on, in our case, on Sunday, on Monday, you just form it. <laughs> now, so we begin to see that God creates man, then God blessed them. 
And he tells man to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth where? Verse 29, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing what? Can I tell you that God gives you everything in a seed? Every herb, everything that you're to eat, I give you herb bearing seed. Can I tell you that whatever thing you need, it is bearing a seed? But many of you attempt to eat the seed or you don't put the seed in the right environment. Which is upon the face of all the earth, every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding what? Seed. Can I also say to you that whatever substance you have, it is yielding a seed? To you it shall be for what? Seed. Now, the tree yielding the seed, it will bring you meat providing that you sow it. Your seed cannot become a tree or fruit until you put it in a, an environment for it to grow and then it will begin to yield. It begins to bring forth. It comes back intensified. And then he says that I've given you every green herb for meat and it was so. Now, let me just say this in, in, in verse 31. And God saw how many things? Everything. That he had what? Made. Now, I believe at this point the devil was already made. Touch your neighbor and say the devil was made. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was what? Very good. It was what? Very good. Can I tell you that the devil is a good servant? As a matter of fact, the devil is doing what he was ordained to do. Some of you, the devil is saying, you've been taking my job. I was supposed to do that. I was supposed to be trying to mess you up. You just mess your own stuff up. You hang your own stuff. I was, you took my job away from me. Because you've meditated so long on the devil until you begin to say, I am the. A story was told to us from a, a man, and he was sharing with us that he heard a story in France, I believe it was. He said that there was a man that did this for years, young man, says he wanted to see the devil. And so what he started doing is he started to, he started to take children and started killing children and burying them. They could not, or they had all these missing children. There were several hundred children he had killed before they found him that it was leading to this particular castle. What's the outcome of the story? The outcome is that he said he wanted to see the devil, but he was seeing the devil all the time. He was the devil. See, what you meditate upon, you become. Could it be that that's why so many religious folks kill prophets? Because they preach a theology or a doctrine of devils? All they say, they're chasing demons. And in their prayer is, Satan, in the name of Jesus, I, t I bind you. Their whole prayer is, Satan, I tell you, addressing the devil until they've become the devil. Amen. Some of you, before you came here, you were the devil. You didn't pray, Father, in Jesus' name. Your prayer was always, Satan, in Jesus' name. I'm telling you right now, listen, you're supposed to cast the devil out, not pray to him. Pentecostal folks love praying to the devil. Come on, you know, I'm, I see, I'm messing with some of your prayer lives now. A matter of fact, 
we are going to be moving into some